A federal transportation leaders are hitting the road from Washington, D.C., making their way to the Wiregrass, the Shiloh community in Elba that has been calling for help for nearly six years. WDHN's Robert Smith Jr. has the story only on WDHN. Yes, federal help is on its way, and, and so we're grateful. The ongoing flooding issue in the historically black Shiloh community has gained national attention over the last six months. Four weeks ago, Shiloh residents took a trip to the Capitol with the father of environmental justice, Robert Bullard, to visit the U.S. Department of Transportation, sharing their devastating testimonies with federal leaders. Now, the top federal transportation leader, Pete Buttigieg, and his team are visiting next week to see for themselves. This is fact, you know, they're coming. And so uh, we're excited, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we just don't want just a show up, but we need, we need help. We need this stuff to be fixed. You know, it's been six years that we've been going through what we're going through, and we're not, we're not trying to uh, create a show or anything. Shiloh residents claim they have been living out a nightmare since 2018 when Highway 84 was expanded by the state. It left the community in a bowl where they believe the state turned the water pipes onto the community. And when it rains, water from the highway floods their community, damage their homes and cause a number of issues. Although the issue has been getting a national response, residents say they haven't heard anything from the state, particularly the governor's office. I've been calling uh, to the governor Ivey's office trying to get help, but get a deaf ear, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get on her agenda but can't get on her agenda, her, you know, her scheduler and then uh, her uh, assistant chief. Uh, nothing seemed to work out. It's probably because, I hate to say it like this, maybe because we are black. She represents our state and, I, and, and she's not willing to participate in, in order to try to help us. But when the federal is, 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 you know, is stepping up to the plate, well, uh, I, I, I just like for her to do more. Residents say it's only getting worse. Williams' septic tank is backing up. We're having to use a, a wet vac, I mean a wet vac, which is 12, holds 12 pounds. Able, we have to suck this stuff up out of our tub and, and then get it, gather it up, and then take it out and dump it. That's, that's a lot of water. Williams says they are inviting the state agencies to come out Wednesday, and there will be no hard feelings. Hear us out and just don't hear us out but bring a solution to the problem. In Elba, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Whitergrass.